Morning, Jay Andrews here, 89.1 WBCX, and in the studio today, Bruce Birch is here. Bruce, we're glad to have you again in here. Good morning, Jay. Good to be here. All right. As always. It's September, and you know what that means. Big John Gerard Festival. It's coming up. Songwriter Festival is coming up. That's what it's called. 20th and 21st, and there's something on the 22nd? No, no, no. We, it, we, we, don't, we It's Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, yeah. We were going to do something <laughs> Sunday, but we decided that we bit off two days, and that was... About as many as we were going to put on this year. Everybody woke up just then. A yeah, three-day exactly. concert. Right, right, yeah. No, it's Friday and Saturday. Let's talk about what happens on Friday and who's going to be on the square and what kind of marriage that is yeah. first. Well, Art in the Square is, is happening, you know. And last year, we, we just, at the last minute, they asked us to do a concert. And so we got Jeffrey Steele to come down, a great songwriter from Nashville, and I had no idea how many people would show up and about 3,000 people showed up it was a free concert you know and and it was just amazing you know so obviously this year we decided to do it again and we've got David Lee Murphy coming down to headline and we've also got River Street again River Street the local uh, heroes here the band that just come gotten back together and they're they're just doing great stuff and and then we also have berkeley college of music our dear friend roger brown you know that you graduated with is Evil. bringing is bringing the two or three of his berkeley students down here to open up the show so we got a great show friday night you better get with mike terrell and make sure that um they're not going to do won't get fooled again or something like <laughs> who because right. roger knows that drum thing that's all he did in high school yeah, is that that but he's a he's a great drummer. He's, he's a great drummer, all and a kind great of, guy. And uh, Berkeley, of course, like you said, oh, yeah. is that's just the place to go if you're a yeah, serious musician. Yeah, yeah, John Mayer, and just the list goes on and on of people at Quincy Jones that went there. You know, so Rogers hanging with some heavy company, and he's going to be here with some students playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That we've is been, a cool Friday night. Yeah, we've been wanting to do something in conjunction with Bernal since now that I'm here at Bernal University. You know, we've been wanting to do something in conjunction, so we got Bernal kids playing on Saturday night, and on Friday night we've got Berkeley College uh, students playing. Playing. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about Saturday night. The songwriters who are coming. Yeah. Who you got? Well, we've got Kent Blazy, who is, you wouldn't know the name, and Kim Williams, who you wouldn't know his name probably either, but you'll know his songs. Uh, they, they wrote about half of Garth Brooks' hits. Uh, if Tomorrow Never Comes, Kent Blazy wrote, uh, Ain't Going Down to the Sun Comes Up. Somewhere other than the night with Garth and uh, Beer Run, B double E double R U N. And uh, Kim Kim Williams wrote, uh, If the Devil Danced in Empty Pockets, Three Wooden Crosses for Randy Travis, and Papa Love Mama for Garth, and many other hits. Uh, we've got Doug Johnson, a uh, Georgia native, who had just had a, one of the biggest hits of last year, Love Like Crazy, by Lee Bryce. And he also co-wrote Three Wooden Crosses, and he wrote Skin for Rascal Flatts, for us, the song that was dedicated to some of the cancer victims, you know. Yeah. And we uh, have Bob Morrison, who is a legendary songwriter in Nashville. He wrote everything from Looking for Love for Johnny Lee to You Decorated My Life by Kenny Rogers, Love the World Away, Kenny Rogers, and Conway and Loretta songs and uh, George Jones songs. I mean, the list goes on and on for Bob. We had a guy named Jim Collins coming in, I think I told you about. Yeah. Well, Jim, unfortunately, yeah. due to some health issues, had to drop out. And so I picked up the phone, and the first person I thought of was a young man named Red Aiken, who is from a Georgia native as well and was a dear friend of John Gerard's. He's coming in, and he is one of the hottest writers in town right now. He's got the uh, Blake Shelton Boys Around Here song. He had Honey Bee with Blake Shelton. He had Put a Girl in It with Brooks and Dunn. Uh, Give me that girl with Joe Nichols, and the list goes on and on with him as well. And he he's got a, a hit by his son is also an artist. He's got a hit out by him now because it goes like this. He said he'd be glad to come and do anything for us. So we're excited. That's what's really cool about the Songwriters Festival. It's like a bunch of friends sitting there, and you're on stage, and y'all all talk yeah. about the songs we and do. about what we- you're doing, and and you tell some. Jokes well, I like to say it's sort of a cross between if you've ever been to the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee, and you've ever been to Chastain Park, it's sort of the cross between the Bluebird Cafe and Chastain Park. You know, you got that open atmosphere out there. The storytelling aspect of these songs is what's really cool. They tell the stories behind the songs, and that's what the part of it I think that people really, really enjoy more than anything. It's really behind the scenes stuff and what those guys were thinking or what they were going through right. when they wrote songs. 
And uh, then they'll do the songs. Yeah. Because that's a one-time version to me. Just really cool to hear the feel of the song. I always say You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I always say it's like that. you hear the song as it was first birthed, you know, yeah. I mean, as it was first written, you know, and that's that's a lot of times it, it's a lot different than what it comes out in once the, the artist gets hold of it and soups it up, you know. Massage. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Makes it sound like radio friendly. You there know? you go. I saw, by the way, you mentioned Garth. And uh, went home yesterday, and the TV was on, and there was Trisha doing her cooking thing. Oh, yeah. And he was on the show oh, yeah. cooking some macaroni thing. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've, done, it, a, they've done a good it, job but, of that. But that show is just ador- – I just was thinking, well, music, uh, they're both huge stars. Now she's cooking. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's – Cooking, and she's singing better than ever, you know. Yeah, and, and Garth's fixing to do a new album of uh, cover songs, believe it or not, and uh, it's what I hear. What the rumor is, and going to be going out on a tour probably in the next year. Or so his really, he he, you know, he came off the road because yeah. he said he wanted to wait till his kids all graduated. Well, the last one I think graduated last spring, so he's going to go back out on the road this next year. I think. Well, that'll be huge. That's what the rumor is. Wow. Okay. Well, another huge thing we're talking about though, right here in Gainesville, Georgia. On the front campus of Brunel, this is going to be on the 21st First. that evening. And tell folks what time they need to get here. Well, we, we open the gates about uh, 5.30, and people can come on in. The show will probably start around 6 or thereabouts, and, uh, and uh, then the, the, the main artists go on about 8. But it's a, it, the, 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 the young artists that we have coming to open the show are amazing, too. We've got Mary Jennings, local girl you know yeah. gonna be here and alan nivens of course who's always host that round and then we also have uh mark dowdy who's a local native here that's going to be playing it so we've got several great artists that are going to be playing that opening show so you don't want to miss that and then we'll have an auction of course that philip wilhite always auction here philip wilhite and we always like to he he, re, he does a great job with that I just want one of him yeah that, yeah he's just the guy he broke the mold he's the guy when you want to do that exactly but uh all three of those are good jennings yes that's how jennings. she yes. calls her yeah, yeah jennings, jennings right. she's good alan nivens i think he's one of the most underrated players around here and singer he, he's pretty good he is real Bruce, good. don't you think he's pretty I, good i think he's real good in fact i told alan like about i don't know it's been probably seven or eight years ago i said man if you moved to nashville you'd you got a shot but yeah you know he decided to stay here and have a family and do normal things that you know that when you do that yeah. light that's the lifestyle up there in nashville trust me I, I lived it for 28 years it's tough you know and uh and uh, so i admire him for putting his family first yeah okay you're gonna have that and who's the other one you mentioned there's there are three there there's jennings there's um mark dowdy yeah mark dowdy there's a there's a talented guy right well, there he is a talented guy <laughs> we've been writing a lot together and he's really he he he, he a one-man studio out there he is a production machine he is uh i could go on about that he's just quite talented so this is going to be going on at Brunel university on the front campus we want you to be a part of this now for more information you need to go to john gerard foundation.com JohnGerardFoundation.com. Bruce Birch will be on stage. Uh, Kent Blasey, Kim Williams, Doug Johnson, Bob Morrison. Thanks, Bruce, for coming in. And uh, we got tickets we'll be giving away. And uh, I look forward to this show. Thank you so much.